Hallelujah. He won't fail. He won't fail. Glory to God. He won't fail. Hallelujah. In the book of Nehemiah, glory to God. Uh, Darrell, he's not going to fail. Hallelujah. We praise God for Brother Darrell. Hallelujah. He won't fail. He's not going to fail us here. He's not going to fail you no matter what. He's not going to fail. We thank you for your service and thank you for your sacrifice. Hallelujah. And it goes beyond recognition, but I choose to let you know that God is not going to fail in the promise he has over your life. And because you have been a blessing because you are blessing well, to others that don't even want oh God. See, some folks don't know how to receive the blessing but we receive the blessing of you Darrell. Hallelujah. I promise you he won't fail and there's some great things that he is getting ready to set you up for an opportunity that you didn't even ask for glory to God. And don't you look back. He won't fail. Can I get somebody to just say he won't fail? He won't fail. He won't fail. Come on, Facebook, if you're out there, say he won't fail. Type it in the comments. He won't fail. I come to tell you he won't fail. He won't fail. Even if you have to do it on your own, he won't fail. Move out of your okay. Oh Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Listen, listen. Lord, have mercy. Uh, uh, Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 17 says, Then said I unto them, uh, Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 17. God's let me come back right here today. Hallelujah. And sometimes, hallelujah, you got to learn, Elder Johnson, and, and people of God, you got to learn to run with a word. If he give you one word and that's all you got, you run with it. <laughs> And you keep decreeing that word until you see it manifest. Thank you, God. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Help us, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's right, Tamika Johnson. He won't fail. That's right, Ebony. He won't fail. That's right, Viva. He won't fail. Hallelujah. See, that's right, Marissa. He won't fail. I'm just going to put that in there. See, I'm going to agree with y'all. He won't fail. Hallelujah. Then said I unto them, verse 17, you see the distress that we are in. How Jerusalem lies in waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more a reproach. Have mercy. Okay. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me. Yes, 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 yes. As also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, do it again. And we trust you all the way through. Hallelujah. Lord, all the way through. Thank you, Lord. Trust you all the way through. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Have get your glory, God. Blaze your glory in this place. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. You can have your seats. And for a familiar reminder, hallelujah, just to uh, Kip and uh, Elder Johnson, glory to God, we're going to talk about builders, blockers, and the blessing. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Um, I wasn't able to preach this and decree this when I thought that God was going to allow me, but he said today is the day, hallelujah, oh, and he's going to let us do this because today we need to hear about being builders, block the blocker, and the blessing, amen, hallelujah, and so it was that I received my confirmation, hallelujah, um, by way of Kiki this morning, hallelujah, that she sent me a text that when she went to Google, glory to God, our address for the church, it said uh, permanently closed, hallelujah, and I didn't even realize what she said, what she was sending me at first, because um, <laughs> because I was moving so fast, I just texted her back and said, I'm on the way. 
<laughs> I didn't realize that. And she called me. I heard she said, Pastor Crazy. And she said, I'm trying to show you what Google said. <laughs> y'all get it when you get home. I see this coming already. Maybe y'all gonna get it when you get home. She was trying to show me what Google had said concerning the church. Uh -huh. She was trying to show me that if somebody looked up the church address, Darrell, that it said permanently closed. And I just was like, well, Lord, we can close. I'm on my way there. <laughs> to speak to me, he said, Sam, this is a blocker. You're about to preach builders, the blockers, and the blessing. Hallelujah. He said, Sam, you got to understand that no matter where you are, there will be some who will try to block what God has already set in place. Now, she knew we weren't closed, and I knew we weren't closed, but Google did not know we weren't closed. Hallelujah. I just need to make a good announcement that the church is still open for God's business. I need to announce to the today. I need to announce to the devil today that the church is still open for God to have his way. The church is still open. I said to her, I said it must, they must be talking about, hallelujah, the business that was beside us that is now permanently closed. But the last I checked, fire chosen still open. The last I knew we're still open for God's business. We're still here to do what God said for us to do. Glory to God. I ain't preaching long, hallelujah. So you better catch up with you. I'll be gone. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so we're still open, hallelujah, to what God wants to do. And so it brought me back. God said, this is the text, Sam. You've been studying and studying this text. And he said, go back to Nehemiah again. Go back to see. Nehemiah was a cupbearer. He won't nobody be. Hallelujah. He won't. See, some of us think we all that. Hallelujah. But are there any just plain servants in the house? Hallelujah. Plain servants who say, I ain't nobody. Don't have a big name, but I know who God is. Okay. I know. Hallelujah. I might be a small girl in a big world. Hallelujah. But my God is bigger. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I might be up against some great things, but my God is bigger. I need to tell you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The church is still open. Nehemiah, who was the cupbearer to the king, when he heard how um, they were faring in Jerusalem, the children of uh, the Israelites had been taken captive. And some of them were left because they won't no good. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And some of them were left because nobody cared about them. Some of them were left behind. They didn't take them captive because they won't no good for anything. They won't no good for labor. Some of them were weak and feeble. Y'all ain't saying nothing. They were old and too young to go. Hallelujah. So they left them behind after they destroyed their city. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And so the enemy had destroyed the city of Jerusalem, which was the home, the heart of God. Lord have mercy. Jerusalem was the place that God said, I'm going to put my glory right there. It's going to be the seat where I reign. Y'all ain't saying nothing. In the midst of my people, Lord have mercy. Don't you know that the church is the cornerstone of the community? It is the seat where God reigns in the midst of the environment. Don't you understand? Hallelujah. Even your local church is the place where God said, I'm going to set my presence so that everybody around can come and get an answer. Everybody around can come and get some help. Everybody around can come and get strength. Everybody around can come and get power. But what happens when the seat, hallelujah, when the meeting place is destroyed, when the meeting place is run rapid with the enemy, when the meeting place, come on, I gotta help the church here. What happens when the body of Christ has been running rapid, hallelujah, and the enemy has been running through it like it ain't no tomorrow, hallelujah. What happens when the devil runs through your church and you can tell if it's real or if it's fake, and you can saved or who I'm saved. Uh, and you can't tell the sanctified from the lie. You all ain't saying it there. And you can't tell who, who believes in God and who does not. All in the house of God. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Nehemiah was sad when he heard about it. And it'll break the heart of the believer when you see the state of the church. I love the church, y'all ain't saying that. I love the church. It was the church that helped me get saved. It was the church, hallelujah, that taught me about Jesus. It was the church, hallelujah, where I found the Lord. It was the church where I was revived. It was the church where I learned that I didn't have to hold no more. It was the church where I decreed I don't want to be a player no more. It was the church. It was the church. It was the church. It was the church. Church. 
in the church. No, 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 no. God said he coming back for a people without spot or wrinkle. He coming back for a people that are set apart. He coming back for a people who walk in power. He coming back for a people. He coming back for a people. And let me help you. He will come for you right now. Yeah. Okay. Listen, so Nehemiah was sad. He he, he was walking with a, he needed um, he needed some help. He was struggling. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. It was, he was struggling and he, he was struggling everything because the church was in trouble. The people of God were in trouble. The people back home were in trouble. Some of y'all in trouble and don't even know it. Some of y'all struggling. Don't realize your struggle. Though it may be real, but if you don't get out of this struggle, you will lose it right here. Hallelujah. Some people don't understand. This is your exodus. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God. They were responding. So, Darrell, we, we just going to go on through. Hallelujah. Now, Nehemiah, the Bible said that Nehemiah, if you read some chapters before, hallelujah, some verses before, Nehemiah was so sad that he went to Jerusalem and he went to look around. My mind. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You read after that. He, he was sad and so he, he was talking to the king. The king said, what's wrong with you? And I ain't mad at the king because if somebody's my cupbearer, that means they taste my food, they taste my drink right. before I drink it to make sure it's not poison. And so the king who was not a believer, come on now, the king who was not a child of the most high God, who was not a follower of the one true and living God, the king said, what's wrong with you? Why are you looking like that? <laughs> hallelujah. You know something I don't know? You. Hallelujah. <laughs> Do you know somebody put something in my food where it don't taste right to you? Don't look. What's going on with you? Can I ask? Hallelujah. What's the matter now, Zion? Hallelujah. Why are you looking like that? Hallelujah. What is wrong? Hallelujah. Why your face all turned up? Why you frowning in church? Hallelujah. Why you walking around depressed and struggling, church? Why you walking around like you don't have a hope? Oh, God. The countenance of your face looks like there is no hope in your heart. And Nehemiah told the king, he said, but the Jerusalem lies in waste. I can't take it. My people are hurting. Lord have mercy. I wish, hallelujah, that the body of Christ would have the heart of Christ to understand that those who are in trouble, when you in trouble, I'm in trouble. When you hurt, I hurt. When you cry, I cry. When you're happy, I'm happy. When you're going through, I'm going through. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. It's only people who have the heart of God who will say, I'm going through because you're going through. I'm sacrificing so that we can all get through. I'm sacrificing, Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord have mercy. I got to get to my topic here, but I got to stay right here because some people need to understand it is the compassion of God that we must have in our heart in order for us to identify with our brother or our sister. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm talking about those who are in the same building all the time. Teach us I'm talking about the man or the woman you meet on the street who are going through just as much as you going through, who don't look like you, who don't look like me, hallelujah, who look different, who live different, who act different. Oh, Lord, I thought I had some believers in here. Just raise your hand if you believe in God. Raise your hand if you don't. We'll get everybody, hallelujah, glory to God. But at the same time, thank you, Kia. Hallelujah, at the same time, when we are in this world, then we got to understand that God died for the whole world. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. God, I can't talk to the whole world. Today. It was not because I was saved, and I'm so glad. Hallelujah. Because if he'd have waited on me to get saved, he'd still be alive and not have to die first. Oh, my God. My God. My God. Yes, Lord. Oh, oh. He'd still be waiting. Mm. Still. It's good. It's good right there. Yeah, you see, that's what I love. See, the church got it mixed up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The real, the, Jesus didn't die for the church. Oh, right. He died for the world. For the world. He died for my messed up self. Yeah, he yeah, died for me with all my problems. Yeah. He died when I didn't oh, even know him. Yeah, he yeah. died while we were yet sinners. Yeah. He died, he died, he died, he died, he died. Yeah. And it's something with the church, the body of Christ, yeah. don't want to look on somebody else, don't want to talk to nobody else because they're not saved, because they're not delivered, because they haven't come through. But I wasn't always saved, and you were yeah. always saved. Yeah. And so I'm still kind of stuck. Y'all ain't saying nothing. A 
build it. Glory to God, I gotta get here. It's like Nehemiah who says something is wrong and I gotta go see about it. Nehemiah knew what was wrong. The gates were torn up. Oh, Lord. The gates were destroyed. My, my. The gates were burned up. The gates of Jerusalem, come on, yes. the mighty city of God was burned up. Now your gates are your protected places. Uh -huh. right, right. The gates at this time, okay, well the gates just like we have our defenses, Lord have mercy. Uh -huh. You let somebody cross the threshold and hit the radar of the United States of America. Right. Uh, from enemy territory. Uh -huh. See, if your gates are down, if your gates are not protected, if your gates are not covered, hallelujah, then your enemy can easily come in. Right, right, right. And destroy what's left. I submit to us that some of our gates have been down. Some of our gates have been destroyed. Oh, oh but I got a word for you today. Just call me Builder Sam. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You ain't even got to worry about Builder Bob. Just call me Builder Sam. I come today to help you build your gates back up. I come today to let you know that fire chosen is not permanently closed. We are building gates that cannot be destroyed. We are building gates, hallelujah, that cannot broken down. We are building gates of healing, the gates of deliverance, a gates of God having his way. Glory to God. Somebody shout in here. I'm just trying to find my flow because y'all jacking it up. But at the end of the day, hallelujah, glory to God. I will thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord. At all times in his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will build up myself on my most holy faith. Speaking in tongues, giving Because they don't know what their purpose is yet. They haven't figured out that the only reason you are still here is because God still has purpose for you. They haven't figured out that because you are here, God can do something great. They haven't figured out that because God has called you to build, you will have to carry burdens. Some stuff won't even belong to you. Some stuff you didn't even cause. Some stuff you didn't even want. Some stuff you didn't even ask for. But let me help. There's a grace in this season on the builder. How do I know we don't come in a whole pandemic and we are still building? We are still prospering. Your business is still working. 
when you a builder, God can give you blessing because you'll do what he say to do. Oh. When you a builder, hallelujah, oh. you can have vision because God will show you what you need to be. Oh. No, I never seen an ark, but God oh. gave him the vision of how to build it. Abraham went to a place that he didn't even know, never even seen, but God said, your seed gonna be like the same.
Uh, and before he met with anybody, he took a survey of it. He walked around her to see. He walked around. He saw how desolate it was. He saw the people was losing hope. He saw the people were getting depressed. He saw, hallelujah, because there were no gates, hallelujah, because there was no protection, because they felt weak. Y'all ain't saying that. I know I'm talking to here, hallelujah, because they felt undone. They felt like, oh, Lord, have mercy. What's going to happen now? How am I going to get through now? How am I going to help myself when I can't even... Well, how am I going to help somebody else? I can't even help myself. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. And I'm going to believe. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. How am I going to be strong when everything in my life is broken down? Oh, How am I going to have strength when, when there's an opening here and an opening there? How am I going to have strength, hallelujah, when, when, when the enemy knows it's my weak place? Don't y'all know the enemy know your weak place? Hallelujah. He know how to get to you. He know how to get to me. He know how to talk to you. Hallelujah. When won't nobody else talk to you, I bet the enemy will. Hallelujah. He say, see, ain't nobody even talking to you. Ain't nobody even dealing with you. God, I'm preaching better than y'all responding. Hallelujah. But I know what I just earned in the house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know what I just earned. Amen. Even through what I hear and see on Facebook, I understand. Hallelujah. The enemy knows that if I do this, hallelujah, then she's going to lose all of her strength and she's going to lose heart and she's going to give up right here in this place but I come to tell you that you are a builder and now is not the time for you to break down, now is the time for you to build up Fire chosen, now is the time for you to build up, now is the time for you to get strength, now is the time hallelujah, glory to God oh Lord have mercy, hallelujah the Bible says hallelujah that the gates, hallelujah, were burned with fire and he said to the elders, he said come let us build up the wall of Jerusalem. Thank you, God. That we be no more reproach. Thank you, God. Come, let us build your ministry together. Come, let us build your life together. Come, let us build your servant together. Come, see, I know it get right there. Because folks always, we try to build your bank account. If you build up the kingdom, God will build your bank account. Uh, okay, see, since I thought I was talking to builders, let me go and talk to the blockers. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. Hallelujah. Oh, Kim, you got to help me preach this. You heard it. Hallelujah. Uh, the blockers, glory to God, are just onlookers. The blockers never have access to what the builders have access to. The blockers will never get a vision. That's why they're trying to block you because they can't see what you can see. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And some of the builders that got confused that you blocking your own self. Some of the builders Them, but God kept them. He is the friend that sits. Close. 
closer than a brother. He is the one. How is it? Hallelujah. Somebody shout blockers. 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 Nehemiah had blockers named Sanballat and Tobias. The gates were so weak. They, they sent him a threat. They said, look, you ain't doing nothing. A little fox can break that down. You ain't doing nothing that weak testimony. Everybody got that testimony. Oh, yeah. Lord. Oh, Lord. You ain't doing nothing. Now you got saved. I don't remember who you were. Oh. I remember what you used to do. Oh. I remember the, the, the blockers that remind you who you are. Y'all ain't saying that. We ought to thank God for the blockers. Let me put my glasses on. I can't see nobody. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The blockers let you know that who you were and what you come from. Oh, yeah. The blockers let you know and remind you of a time that you had no shrimp. Don't go down, Darrell. I ain't going down yet. That's because the people down. I ain't down. Hallelujah. God ain't down. God is up. Y'all better get up. Hallelujah. Okay, never mind. That's a long time ago before y'all. Hallelujah. Listen, the blockers will let you know. Hallelujah. All the hell you've been through. Oh, right, right. Just to try to keep your mind in that place. Right. But somebody ought to realize my mind, I am not in my past. Right. I am not in my past. Right. Now I might not be all the way into my the fulfillment of my promise, but I ain't back there. Yes, Lord. I might not be where I'm supposed to be, but I know I am. After they walk away, I'm still gonna 
But if we sow to the Spirit, see how low, low it is. Y'all, y'all, listen. Y'all ain't work no harder than me. I'm preaching better than y'all. Before you leave out of this place, if I never see you again, I want you to know you're a builder. And God has put a good work in you. And it's your responsibility and my responsibility to build. Stop blocking your own blessing. We are here to build up the glory of God. Build up the presence of God. And Nehemiah said, I'm going to build until when Jerusalem is restored, yes, it'll be back in its rightful place. Yes. Help us, Lord. God. Help us, Lord. I need to help everybody this season. You're going to figure out that blockers might be uh, familiar. See, when you start talking to people, can I help y'all? When you start talking to people and they start talking, well, I don't think you ought to do all that. And then they block us. Block us. Block us. Block us. Block us. Block us. What's your name? Your name was real. You a blocker. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my. Folks gonna be mad with me this season. Oh God, hallelujah. Cause now that I got a glimpse of his glory, they that about shot. Now that I see what God wants to do, even more in my personal life, in your life, in the life of our children. Oh God. Yeah. I'ma build right on top of blockers. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I'ma build right on top of those who say it can't.
the house will be built back up. Thank you, Your house will be restored back. See, y'all gotta learn how to receive. Can, can y'all receive that in Facebook? That your house will be built back up. That you will be restored back. That God is causing you to be a builder in such a way that even when things are torn apart, hallelujah, Tamika Johnson received this word, hallelujah, even when things are torn apart and everything is torn up, you will be able to build again. And what you're building is better because the foundation is sure. Oh, God. Yes. 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 Oh, God. Nakia, what you're building now, it's time to come on back, daughter, hallelujah, come on back. Build your faith, hallelujah. Come on back, daughter. Come on back. God is calling you, hallelujah, to build again, to believe again, to trust him again. Glory to God. To trust that God moves in. Hallelujah. To trust that God is doing what he said he's going to do in your life. This is the time and this is the season. I come against every spirit of doubt, every spirit of oh God, the trust that you have in God. Hallelujah. I cast down Every blocker in the name of Jesus. Everything. And some of them, hallelujah, don't even believe. But God said, if you believe me, I will perform a miracle. I will give unto you the blessing that no man can withhold. Y'all too low and celebrating. Come on, we worship right here. We thank God right here. We bless God right here. We bless Him right here. I speak directly to your heart. Thank you, Lord. Your heart is going to be pricked in this season. In such a way, Kia, I'm telling you, you're about to go into your own personal revival. And that God is rekindling love and fervor and passion within you. Hallelujah. Because you know, Lord have mercy. Y'all ever just, you just been beat down long enough. But now's the time to build. And you're going to know them. Hallelujah. Because I decree that every time the blocker comes to try to bring doubt or try to bring heaviness to you, it is time for you. It is not time for you to be heavy. It is time for you to get lifted in your faith and get lifted in the fervor of God and get lifted in your zeal of God. But every time they're going to start stuttering, watch for the people who stutter around you. My God. Have mercy. Oh my God. I don't care who they are. It doesn't matter who they are Because blockers cannot access the blessing If you're a builder, you're going to get it And God said your strength is going to be restored See, I'm a, yeah, we, we don't even care about that Hallelujah, glory to God Your strength is going to be restored In this season, glory to God And by the end of this year, you will be Lord, it's going to be like you're going to be a new person Thank you, God Thank you, Lord Thank you, Lord Lord. The enemy said, I'll, I'll let you go under the radar, but God said, I've been having my eye on you the whole time. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Uh, well, we just, just sort of getting by. But God said, hallelujah. If there's never been a time where you're needed in the house, you're needed now. Thank you, Lord. We can all receive that. We can all receive that. If there's never been a time where you're needed in this house, you're needed now. Somebody shout now. Now. Darrell, you're needed now. Bueller, you're needed now. Mac, you're needed in this house now. Ebony, you need it now. That's why God opened the door without struggle, without strain. See, you need it now. It would have been a struggle before, but now it's open. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. See, some of y'all, when you decide, I want to build, God said, now I can open the door. Yeah. When you decide, now I want to give it a try, now God can open the door. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Can we go ahead and decree? Can we just prophesy into her life? Hallelujah. We decree that now. Open doors are unto you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Be it unto you a blessing. Glory to God. Because you desire to build. And I shut the mouth of every lion around you and every liar around you. I shut their mouth now. Glory to God. Tell them that Samantha C. Robinson said it. And I'm a woman of God. And God will back up what I say. In the name of Jesus. God will honor the words of his prophets. You tell them. And tell them this is what she said to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because you are a builder. And we will not allow anybody else to tear you down. You are saying that this is your sister. mercy. Don't keep lowering your standard and don't keep lowering yourself. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are greater than that. And God is building you to a place where if they don't want to follow, then leave them right where they are. If they don't want to go, leave. Y'all ain't saying that. If you don't want to ride, just stay on the curb. If 
Jesus. 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 Yeah, mercy. See, we sing the song, Payday is coming out of the wild. That's not only for the builders, but it's for the blockers, too. Uh -huh. You're going to get paid for this one. See, I'm mindful of everyone who says I love you and I'm with you. I'm mindful of everyone who says I'm walking with you. But when it's time to show up and build, you don't show up and build. When it's time to go to work, you call me and see. My Lord. This might be a series or something. It ain't gonna be all today. Let me alone. Preach it too long. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. We gotta understand how to build in the midst of blockers. Thank you, Lord. Because the blessing is a sure promise. You got a blessing. You have a blessing. That God has promised you. Even in the midst of struggle, even in the midst of strife. Hallelujah. Even in the midst of hurt and pain. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Even in the midst of it, Ernestine, the enemy will try to make you go back on your testimony. But you can say, surely I know the Lord has healed me. I might have some other problems, but I know God delivered me from this. Salvation. I know I might listen, listen, listen. Hey, Jesus. but it ain't that. But it's one thing. Yeah. Let me help y'all. It ain't that bad. No, there's nothing too hard or impossible for God. Thank God, we thank you. God is able and He won't fail. Thank you, Lord. He promised Nehemiah, I'm going to strengthen. The Bible says that they strengthen their hands to do a work because it was a good word. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. I pray this word has strengthened your hands and your heart Thank you, Lord. to do a good work, to, to, to fully commit, Thank you, God. To, get, to get back up and to try again, to get back up and to try again, never be defeated, the real. to get back up and to try again, to build right here where you are, hallelujah, we love you on Facebook, Miss Viva, I need to see you back in the house, hallelujah. God trying to build her life. Don't turn it off yet. She listening. God trying to build your life. And he and, and guess what? As soon as he, soon as you start building, the enemy trying to block you from getting in the house. Thank you, Lord. As soon as you start doing good. Thank you, Lord. And we got all kinds of excuses. Let me help y'all. I got I have the rain was a good excuse this morning. I said, help us, Lord. And help this weed. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Oh, God. I, I had to encourage myself. I didn't. Couldn't even find an umbrella. I mean, everything this morning. Oh, God. Yes. I, said, I said, Lord, you know sugar melt in the rain. <laughs> but if I had to go through the rain to get to my purpose. Oh, oh, oh. God, you know I ain't made for this. I ain't built like that. I ain't built like that. But when you a builder, then he gives you the skills. He gives you the plans. Here it is, builder. You got to hear this part. You say you ain't built like that. But when you when you a builder, you can build anything as long as you got a plan. So you might not have started out being built like that. I ain't, I ain't built like everything. You got to have a plan, I'm But this season, I'm building and I'm working on everything. Thank you, Lord. Whatever you can find your hands to do, that's what we ought to be doing. Thank you, Lord. Ministry is not just in this building, it is outside. Thank you, Lord. Help us, Lord. And God is helping us, Help us build the kingdom. Us, Hallelujah. God. Glory to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. We're not going to be defeated in this place. Yes. The enemy will have us to be discouraged. Thank you, Lord. It was so amazing, Ebony. When we got here, it was just Sister Kia, um, Elder Johnson, and myself, and the real. And I looked at them, I said, oh, we're building again. That's a good place to clap. They should have yeah. been clapping. Because what God let me know, if you did it before, Church because it's in a house. Well, now we're in a building. Now it's too small for 
for food. Right, Ooh. right. Oh, yeah. We building again. I said we building again. At least they gotta take down chairs and put up chairs. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yeah. You got my back pain. Be hoping nobody don't shout, nobody don't move the chair. Don't be chairs everywhere. Right, everywhere. But when God has anointed you to do great things in the earth, Mama. when God has anointed you to be a witness to people, Hallelujah, who are castaways, who are the throwaways, the people that were left in Jerusalem. That they didn't even think was worth. <laughs> I come to build up your gates. Thank you, I come to build up your walls. Thank you, God. I come to put strength around you. I come to encourage you. I come to let you know. I come to protect you. I come to make sure there's provision in your house. Thank you, Lord. I come to make sure that even when you are discouraged, thank you, Lord. That you understand. There's a master builder who has the place. And he's communicating that to us. In the name of Jesus. How many receive that? Glory to God. We receive that. We receive that. And we thank God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. In Facebook. We love you. Hallelujah. Elder Johnson is going to disconnect now. But just say amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we pray.